क्वेश्चन फाइंड द थेवनिन इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट फॉर द फॉलोइंग सर्किट हेयर फॉर दिस सर्किट वी हैव टू फाइंड इट्स थेवनिन इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट सोल्यूशन हेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ लोड रजिस्टर आर एल इज ऑप्सेंट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ आर टी एच सो स्टेप नंबर वन इज टू फाइंड आर टी एच टू फाइंड आर टी एच वॉट वी डू जनरली वी रिमूव दी आर एल रिमूव आर एल नाउ हेयर द आर एल और लोड रजिस्टर इज ऑलरेडी अपसेंट सो रिमूव आर एल एंड टर्न ऑफ ऑल इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस सो वेन वी टर्न ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस वेन वी टर्न ऑफ अ वोल्टेज सोर्स दैट टाइम वी हैव टू रिप्लेस इट बाय इट्स short circuit and when we turn off a current source independent current source that time we have to replace it by open circuit now here this will be our thevenin's resistance rth now here we can clearly see this 5 ohm and 20 ohm these are connected in parallel and it is in series with 4 ohm so therefore r th thevenin's resistance is equal to this 4 ohm plus 5 ohm parallel with 5 ohm parallel with 20 ohm so 4 plus 5 into 20 divided by 5 plus 20 if we solve this then we get rth is equal to 4 plus 5 into 20 divided by 5 plus 20 so it is 8 ohm now we got the value of rth next we have to find the value of vth Thevenin's voltage. To find Vth, again what we will do? Remove Rl and Vth is equal to VOC. That is, open circuit voltage is equal to Vth. So here is the circuit. Now here the Rl is already absent, and this is the open circuit voltage. now this will be our vth now we have to find this voltage now here the voltage across this 3 ampere will be vth so here or this is one combined node so this will be our vth so let's find the value of vth what we will do we will use kirchhoff's current law let's assume this is a reference node or ground node and let's say this is current i1 this is current i2 now let's apply kcl at node vth apply kcl at node vth so according to kirchhoff's current law summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node now here at this node entering current r i1 is the entering current and this 3 ampere is the entering current so i1 plus 3 is equal to i1 plus 3 is equal to i2 
Now this I1 can be written as 25 minus VTH divided by 5. 25 minus VTH divided by 5. So this is the simple Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law, current is equal to voltage upon resistance. So this is the voltage and this is the resistance. Plus 3 is equal to I2. Now I2 is I2 is VTH. This VTH minus 0 divided by 20. VTH minus 0 divided by 20. So it will be 25 divided by 5. 25 divided by 5 minus VTH divided by VTH divided by 5 then plus 3 if we take this on left side so it will be minus VTH divided by 20 is equal to 0 so 25 divided by 5 minus VTH divided by 5 plus 3 then minus VTH by 20 so let's take VTH common first. If we take VTH common, then minus 1 by 5 and this will be minus 1 by 20. And this will be 5. So plus 5 plus 3 is equal to 0. So VTH. Now if we solve this, we get minus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 20 so it is minus 0 0.25 plus 8 is equal to 0 so VTH is equal to VTH into 0 point minus 0 0.25 is equal to minus 8 and if we take this on this side so it will be in division but before that this minus and this minus will get cancelled so VTH is equal to 8 divided by 0 0.25 so therefore VTH is equal to 8 divided by 0 0.25 so it is 32 32 volt is the value of VTH now we got the value of VTH and we also got the value of RTH now what we can do? We can draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So now this will be our VTH. This is VTH. This is RTH. And here this will be load resistor RL which is absent here. So this will be terminal A and this will be terminal B. So VTH is equal to 32 volt and RTH is equal to RTH is equal to 8 ohm. 8 ohm and this will be load resistor RL which is absent here what we have to find in this problem we have to find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit for the following circuit so this is the Thevenin Thevenin's equivalent circuit 